Hello, my name is Johnny and I support horror. Now, Shudder recently dropped an interesting feature called Scare Me. This movie wasn't really scary, but uh, it was original, it had its moments, so let's talk about it, horror fam. Just a quick heads up, I never reveal any major spoilers in any of my reviews. I take you through a quick synopsis, show you some shots of the trailer, um, so you never have to be worried about me spoiling something really important. Scare Me is a comedy horror movie written and directed by Josh Rubin. He stars in this movie as well, along with Aya Cash and Chris Redd. This movie follows Fred, a director writer who is staying at a remote cabin to start his next horror screenplay. While on a walk, he meets Fanny, also a writer, who is staying at a cabin next to his. One night the power goes out in all the cabins and Fanny goes over to check on Fred to see if his might still be on. With no power and really not that much to do in a remote cabin, Fred and Fanny decide to tell each other scary stories and act them out for one another. Fred desperately tries to win Fanny's approval with his stories, but it does not come easy for him at all. Who will reign supreme as the scary story master? Is there something deeper and more sinister going on in this cabin? I guess you'll have to watch and see. Okay, let's get into some things I liked about Scare Me. First of all, I think this is a clever and unique storyline. Two writers in the horror genre stuck together in a remote cabin um, trying to scare each other with spooky stories. It was fun to see them come up with original tales of terror, giving nods to old horror cliches and callbacks to movies like The Shining, Misery, Silver Bullet, and more. I love how they'd use little sound effects and props to enhance the stories that were being told. Because if they didn't use Use those elements, I think this movie would have been more boring just to watch two people tell each other spooky stories. We got to see their imagination of the story come to life right before our eyes uh, without going too far. They could have cut to another world and just used a, a reenactment of the story or something, maybe used uh, the actor's VO, but they didn't and I'm glad that they didn't. It's more interesting and clever to see these two tell these stories, you know, just right there in the cabin without ever leaving the set. With the little enhancements of sound effects and such, it's like witnessing a, a campfire ghost story on acid. For example, when Fred would be climbing up the stairs in the middle of the story, there'd be these like exaggerated creaky wood sound effects. Or when our characters would scream, it'd be really enhanced. It was even funny to see our characters try their own sound effects with their mouths. And I have to give it up for the acting of Josh Rubin who played Fred and Aya Cash who played Fanny. Josh's expressive face and how he could contort it into different characters uh, was not only fun funny but very impressive. Even Cash's deadpan but confident acting was really good whether you liked her character or not. Also the sharp dialogue and how Fred and Fanny would play off one another was really well done. With all that being said, let's talk about a few things I didn't like about Scare Me. So the good thing is the stories that they tell in this movie gets better and more acted out, more expressive as the movie goes on. But in my opinion, this just went on for way too long. One hour and 42 minutes is a very long movie for something like this. Honestly, the first, second, and most of the third act is just simply Fred and Fanny telling each other scary stories. A new character does get introduced though. That's where I was like, okay, this could get interesting. You know, what's gonna happen now? But nope, just kind of the same deal. Honestly, I would have liked to seen this as a short. The Zoom seance movie host that's uh, streaming now on Shudder is only 56 minutes long and that worked out perfectly. In this movie, I was just kind of cashed out at the 45 minute to hour mark. I kept asking myself, when is this actually gonna turn into a horror story, if at all? Where's the major conflict? What's really going on here? And uh, how is this going to end? I think I might be in the minority here as uh, I've seen a lot of positive tweets about this movie. I know it's 80 83% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. I just didn't like it as much. I did like some of the humor and of course their acting and them acting out the stories, but it, it only took me so far. It's like there was no B or C stories. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it was like there was this A story of Fred and Fanny telling each other stories. They introduce a new character. Um, but I just, I was looking for something else. I wanted a big conflict to arise uh, to shake up the movie a bit, but it seemed like it just never came. Actually, I shouldn't say it never came. Uh, it came in the third act towards the very end. 
but they just kind of shoehorned that in, it seemed like they just, they did it really quick. The major conflict in the story seemed to be an internal one with Fred. You know, he felt very emasculated by Fanny. He kept having to take all these jabs from her and accept them because, you know, he's not uh, as good a writer or storyteller as she is. She just kept being snarky and digging that knife in a little bit and uh, he just could not handle it. And let's talk about these two characters because I think that's a big reason why I didn't like this movie as much as other people did. Fred calls himself a director, writer, and sometimes actor, and uh, is very prideful of it. But the truth is he works in advertising, uh, he hasn't gotten his big break yet, and he's just too damn whiny about it. He's too whiny that he hasn't gotten big yet as a writer. And he's a little pompous, like you'll see in the beginning. Then there's Fanny, who's worked hard to get where she's at. You know, she has the talent, but has this sort of judgy, I'm gonna pick you apart, I know better, snobby kind of attitude. There's there's glimpses of her letting her guard down and being more warm, but uh, only glimpses. And I know them clashing and uh, trying to one up another was part of the humor in the story, but uh, I just, sorry, I, <laughs> I got sick of their attitudes. There's no denying that all the performances in this movie were great. I do recognize that for sure. But the fact that this movie just went on way too long for my taste just kind of spoiled it for me. You know what? I feel like people that are super into theater will love this because it was almost like that. Seeing two theatrical actors just being silly and expressive all in one setting, it's as if you were at a spooky dining theater place just watching this all unfold. So if you want to check it out, you can right now. It's streaming on Shudder. And if you liked it a lot more than me, please let me know in the comments. Send me a comment. If you didn't like it, um, send me a comment as well. I just, I like to talk to people from different views. So definitely hit me up in the comments below. Okay, horror fam, that does it for me today. Uh, thank you so much for coming by and watching this video and all the videos on my channel. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, I hope you do so right now. And if you like this video, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. And let's be friends to the end. You know you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the horror hack. Happy October, horror fam. May the spooky season be with you. Once again, my name is Johnny. Keep supporting horror, and this has been one hack of a show.